Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome back to another episode of Chi Chi's Mosas. Honestly, I just messed up. I was gonna, I don't even know what episode this is. Do you? No, <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's been a long time. Hi, Hi guys. guys, welcome back to this episode, episode 12. 12. Um, we literally had a pause and check really quick because it's been such a long time since the last time we filmed. I think it's been like two months. Yeah. So we had to get our ish together and we're check. Back. But we're back. Did you miss us? Because we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, of course, this is a... Oh, I'm not even showing my pink mic. Honestly, mm -hmm. guys, I'm struggling because I've had this for a while. I don't know how to connect this. I was struggling with that. So, this is a prop right now, okay? So, just ignore that. Anyways, it's been a minute. Pretty so, much. of course, I'm a little late to this cheese man that I want to tell you guys. But we had to film for you guys. So... Here we are. We need to address a few things, or I <laughs> want to address a few things. Um, but before I begin, I just want to give a shout out to Trey's dad. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Now I know he like watches our YouTube videos, so I just want to say thanks for tuning in. And the reason I know is because I think he tried to tell Trey over the phone one day, like, oh, um, kind of like asking him, did you see the video Kim posted on her channel? Is talking about you and the girls you've been with, like. First of all, I'm going to talk about whatever I want on this channel. Um, that part. But I don't give a fuck at this point. I think he's new here. Yeah. <laughs> and But I just want to say I say what I want and I do what I want. I'm not sitting here thinking like, oh, it's going to get back to Trey. Like, let me not. I don't give a fuck. Like, mm. I already know people send shit to... Like, I don't care. Like, what I say and what comes out of my mouth, I mean and i'm not gonna take back so yeah if i talk shit about him on here if i whatever i said about him like right. why don't you screen record the next time and just send it to him and be a lot easier or he can just tune in himself and watch my videos like <laughs> that that does not bother me like go ahead i do what i want like yeah i thought you knew this but anyways nice try <laughs> <laughs> um okay so now let's move on i think i'm gonna change my shirt because i feel like i'm yeah, gonna i yeah like i keep doing this and i don't want to keep mm. you know yeah guys i'll be right back i'm gonna change my shirt give me two seconds um yeah i'm a little more comfortable in this there's been a lot of shit talking lately <laughs> from people <laughs> from irrelevant people okay go ahead where do you even start like like these two people that i am gonna talk about um first of all i don't care about these people one two i didn't this was not my plan but to talk about these people because they're so irrelevant in my life today now they started some shit and i'm like now I feel like I have to address it. So the first person, let's just start with fucking Asa's ass. Um, <laughs> she's so like, I don't give two Fs about this girl, but she wants to still a year and a half later have my name in her mouth. I didn't hear anything come out of her mouth. I didn't hear anything from like mutual friends. Like I didn't hear anything about this girl. Like I thought she was gone missing or something. Like right. I, I right. you know, like and then a year and a half later, here I am. She's in someone's fucking live bringing me up. Guys, you guys probably don't even care about these fucking people that I'm about to speak on. I don't even know. You guys probably don't know who the fuck these people are. You know, I'm just going to give these girls their five minutes. Okay, so let's begin with Asa. One of the reasons why I completely cut her out of my life. She's so desperate for attention from right. people, especially right. guys. Pick yeah, like a pick me girl. When I was friends with her, I, I used to get on live. She literally 
Well, a few times. That one time. Yeah, well, she would always be drunk. Because, first of all, this girl's an alcoholic. Let me just say that. Mm -hmm. So, she would always be drunk, right? And she would literally snatch my phone, like, out of my hands. Trying to be all cool on my live and stuff. And literally, people would be like, can you give Kim the phone back? Like, we want to see her, not you. She was so annoying. Like, girl. Like, ugh. She just tried too hard. (laughs) But, yeah, I, like I said, I don't care to even talk about this girl. But someone sent me a screen recording of um somebody's live right and asa was all in the comments of course talking about me and bringing me up and she said where's kim's broke ass girl <laughs> so first of all i don't know where and where why. you get your information from why are you saying broke ass first of all like where like Okay, I don't know why she said that. Second of all, like, why are you mentioning me in somebody else's life? Like, what do you, what were you trying to do? Like, what were you trying to get out of that? Like, I don't, I don't understand. She's just like, she talks about other people, so she. Can I just say don't get it. I don't get it. Why that? Why the need to do that? Like, I thought we were good. Like, not good, but I thought we were like. Like broke things off on good terms. Kind yeah, of. like. We never went back and forth. I didn't know you were still, like, mad and bitter at the fact that I don't talk to you anymore. And I don't want to talk to you anymore. I I don't get it. Anyway, so that caught me off guard. I was, like, surprised. Like, why is she talking about me? Mm-hmm. Now that I know that you're feeling this way, um, sorry, not sorry. But um, you know where I live. I'm still at the same place. Um, why not? come to me pull up and address whatever issues you have with me so now i'm just gonna say what the fuck i have to say about you a couple of the reasons why i stopped talking to this fucking raggy ass girl her and i were very close so i would bring her to a lot of like events that i was um attending or that i would go to um if you guys remember the whole joe thing i invited her to the music video shoot she didn't even end up going yeah like i just felt like i wasn't getting the same in return first of all when it came to like friendship like i was there i always had her back anything she needed you know she knew she could call me count on me i'd be there for her and i felt towards the end i was not getting that in return um a few times that i asked her like oh can you do this for me or can you go here with me like she'd always be like yeah 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 i'm down she would always always cancel on me guys or like she always would be like no i have to do this i have to do that like i just got tired of all this stuff you know and like because when it came down to her you were down you always be through. there i don't know if you guys know this but she used to be married to my cousin that's how we met and that's how um Ace and I became really close is because she used to be married to my cousin and when they broke up and were going through a divorce I still had Asa's back and not that I chose size like I never chose like Asa's side over my cousin but my cousin Loki stopped talking to me because that's how she felt she felt like I always had Asa's back over hers so she always was like that doesn't make sense you're my cousin blah 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 so I sacrificed that relationship that I had with my cousin for Asa. It's like Asa really never had anybody to, you know, anybody there for her, any like family. Like she never got along with her sister, the only sister she has. So of course, I was going to be that good friend, have her back. Like if she needed somewhere to stay, somewhere to sleep, like I always open my doors to her. I'm that kind of friend, you know? Yeah. So i've just like i just feel like i've done so much for her and like literally when i cut her out of my life like i was just like yeah she's annoying she's this she's that that was the end of that for me like i never went on and like really talked about asa or talked shit about her because i was just done with that like it's not anything that she did to the extreme but like i was just over that relationship so you know like 
I wasn't that wasn't my intent to like talk shit about her but now she's pissing me off because now she's sitting there talking about me for what I have not done anything to you I don't talk about you I don't bring you up but now you got me fucked up because mm -hmm. now you got me to this point where like okay now you're trying to start some shit but I just don't understand why you're doing a lot of this and why you're barking instead of like pulling up and there's a lot of reasons like I said why I did not want to be friends with her anymore like I like to drink socially I drink here and there I drink whenever I'm out you know like and and when I do drink I don't drink to get drunk I drink to feel good get a little tipsy and I'm good like I'm very good at knowing my limit yeah. so every time I'd be out with her she was just like too much for me I could yes, not handle yeah. her she was mm -hmm. like like loud and sloppy and just all over the place and You're the first day i met her dude like she started to get on my nerves so bad i'm like i cannot do this and um i also want to say like when i was pregnant with exo her and i still were close and we were friends but i do remember that like a lot of those times like we kind of were like drifting apart because um of course i was pregnant I can't sit there and drink with her. So cool, go make new friends. Like I didn't even care. Like I never made that a big deal. Like Trey never liked her. Never like, never, never liked her. And um, I always, always had Ace's back. Like every time that Trey would say some shit about her, like talking about her or anything, um, like I always had her back. I would always fight with him because I'm like, you're not about to sit there and talk about Asa. Like she's my friend. I'm not going to stop talking to her. She's not going to stop coming to my house because you don't like her. Like, if anything, you leave, you know? Mm -hmm. It was always that. Now it makes sense. A lot of the reason why he didn't like her is because she messed around with Trey's cousin. I, we were spending the night at Trey's grandparents' house. Asa can't, comes up to me and asks me for my car keys. And I'm like, I didn't question her. I was like, okay. She's like, yeah, I just need to get something out of your car. So I give her my car keys. This girl comes back. I don't know how long after and I already knew what the fuck was going on they both come in together and I'm like girl like I, I don't even know if I asked her but I think it came up later and she just tried to deny it and say like no that didn't happen okay anyways so that was one time I'm another okay. time she messed around with Trey's friend Antonio and she also tried to deny that and I'm like girl you guys were parked in the car in lisa's driveway it's all on her camera and i was so embarrassed because like imagine like i don't know if like trey's mom like saw what the hell was happening on like her driveway camera mm -hmm. but i was so embarrassed like that was just get on trey's nerves like another time getting back to joe's music video thing i asked her to come with me she said yes last minute she was like no i can't cool um joe invited me on it was like other influencers on this party bus and we went to the club that night you were there right mm -hmm. so a lot of us went to the club with joe that night of course she came to this event because um she knew we were going to be drinking and alcohol was going to be there alcohol was gonna be there <laughs> um and it was a party night you know so she's mm -hmm. like fuck yeah i'll be there she tagged along she was in the party bus with me um we get to the club cool like you know we met a few people we had our fun it was a cool night we get back to the place where uh, we all met to get in the party bus so i get back to my car tell me why on the way back to joe's house because we end up going to joe's house after mm -hmm. she ends up messing with some random dude she had just met that night was it the birthday boy i forgot his freaking name but it was like some chunky dude that was friends with like that crowd with like joe and like i don't know i forgot his name i don't know i think he might have been the birthday boy for that i don't know i don't know but some random dude we none of us knew and to top it off he was ugly af like he was not i don't know why she went for him i think she was just like i said desperate and horny mm. um <laughs> i don't know like it's disgusting like 
Yeah. So I didn't even know this was going on because I'm in the front seat, right? She's all the way in my car, in my third row, like way in the back. So I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't paying attention. So not till the next day, somebody like brought this to my attention and someone tells me and I'm like, no fucking way. Like how disrespectful my kids ride in this car. Like go get you a room. <laughs> You're talking about me being broke. Girl, take your broke ass or like girl it's embarrassing i can't bring this girl nowhere because like girl how are you gonna just do that first night you meet somebody right and, and then just in my in car, car like girl no. no so that was another thing guys also um we'd be at dinner and then some guy pops up and i'm like oh hey i didn't even know you were coming but right. okay cool um, she would always address them like as babe and act like they were together these guys did not give two fucks about this girl like it was just so sad to see in that yeah. moment for me because i'm like god you're like so desperate for that attention and like these guys don't care like these guys yeah they use her for you know what but like that's it they never wanted to settle with her they never wanted anything serious with her and like she would go crazy over them yeah. babe this babe that probably pay for their meal and like do the most and i'm like girl you're so fucking extra that started to piss me off because i'm like oh why do you act like that you know i wouldn't even be surprised if she paid him to do so right it's not to be like cocky or anything guys but like most of these guys that she would hang out with and invite would always be checking me out and i'd be like what the fuck like i would feel bad like girl like your girl's over there why are you looking at me like i didn't like that that's how it always was so i don't know she's confused she don't know if she wants girl guys like girl make up your mind i tell nina all the time you need to date someone who's completely on that side and like completely lesbian because you don't want the girl going back and forth like mm -hmm. oh i'm tired of this so now i want some d like no right. like that's some bullshit i don't know anyway so yeah what else i could there's a lot more that i could say um about this girl oh yeah and she also tried to you know what and mess around with trey's dad which is disgusting like they they're both disgusting like this man they're both fucking desperate like this motherfucker acts like a fucking 19 year old and this bitch acts like she's 15 they exchanged numbers and she was literally asking me like should i blah 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 and i'm like girl i don't know like, no one's gonna stop you from doing what, what you want to do it probably happened probably did, yeah. she would never tell me she would have so never nice. yeah it probably did happen like disgusting now like i said let's let the games begin because now you got me started and you already know who i am so yeah you want to keep going or you want to address it please i'm inviting you over to my place like come over like i'm not about to go back and forth with you but um yeah it's so sad guys like she does not know what to do with her life at this point she wasn't born here in the u.s she has that like accent I try to sound like a white girl sometimes and i'm like dude like that would annoy the fuck out of me anyways i couldn't stand being around her anymore she's just low-key a low life like drinking is her hobby at this point um she has nothing going for her um yeah that's pretty much it her life is sad <laughs> yeah um her mom don't even like her like her mom would talk shit about her to me all the time and just be like you know tell this girl she's so fucking stupid she has nothing going for her like she's letting all these guys like, f her you might as well be getting paid for it she has nothing going for her and i'm like girl like it's about that time that you know you get your shit together maybe stop drinking a little bit or a lot of it and a lot of it just we're literally together, girl. like house hunting right now and then yeah I, this is one of the reasons why we're coming to you guys with this cheese a little late is because we've been so extremely busy house hunting i'm over here trying to buy a house we're trying to buy a house we're trying to get our shit together um and what are you doing you're sitting right. there at 11 o'clock at night fucking talking about me no one knows who you are on that live so did you expect for people to be like oh she's talking about kim k franco or um it like what did you want to get out of that like i right. am so confused that's all i'm gonna say on that like this girl i gave you your five ten minutes go ahead and run with that um 
I have nothing more to say as of right now. So if you want to keep this going, we can go ahead and do that. If you want to address me, we can also go ahead and address me. You know where I'm at. Um, and yeah. That's Stop pretty barking. Much it. Just quit barking. So quit like barking them. and bite for once. You do what you want with this information. And I'm done. So the next person that is crying for attention like i said someone sent me a screen recording um i'm gonna post it we're looking at it right now let me give this girl her five minutes i'm gonna insert the live here for you guys so you guys can see what the fuck i'm talking about oh ken franco girl that was a whole poop city stunt she just didn't let i get back at her baby daddy I don't know nothing about him. Why can't y'all be normal? For real. Be so real. That's like you taking your boyfriend around you're around your mom for the first time and she's like, honey, where's your ex? Like Be so firm. No, Kim was not with him. It was a publicity stunt. A publicity stunt. Like when she'd come, um, her manager would come with her. Like they that's why the the TikToks were filmed so professionally. Because it was a publicity stunt. And he was starting to barely pop up, so it was like perfect. You get me? And then guess what? She got right back with her baby daddy, so. Where are these videos? Uh, she posted them on her TikTok, like two of them. And it was a, I got a white boy on my Rasta and then I don't remember the other one. When I was completely single um, sometime last year, like when Trey and I were on this break for the nine months or whatever, mm -hmm. um, I was dating and I was seeing some guy Sean. We met um, at my daughter's elementary school because his daughter and my daughter were attending the same elementary school so i've known him for years like i was with my girl's dad so my ex with when i met sean like and i used to see him around pedro all the time and i used to be like damn this guy is so hot like i i just used to see him and think that and i don't know a lot of you might not know who this guy is but he's like the white guy that I was dating. He's tatted everywhere. He's older than me. And yes, so that's Sean. Fast forward to now this year, he's with some young girl. So now this girl wants to speak on me and act like she knows what the fuck went on. I didn't know this girl existed. This girl obviously knows about me and she's over there hot and bothered over me like girl like i don't care about you i'm not like i don't want your man like he's with you because i didn't want him right, like right nina knows how this man was obsessed yeah, he's like in love with you i don't care about you guys i don't but now you guys want to sit there and talk about me so now okay right now we're talking she's on her life like i said she thinks she's an influencer so let, let's let's let her let's give her that let's let her think that and she's on live and there there comes freaking what's her name asa, asa joining and in the comments she wants to be like where's kim's broke ass okay cool she mentions me like i said i don't know what she's trying to get out of this but there we are so then the girl was like i don't know nothing about kim so yeah so she wants to say i don't know nothing about kim you should have just left it at that like yeah. that was perfect perfect answer you know nothing about me i don't need you to sit there and talk about me i don't need that who are you blah 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 right but then she wants to go on and be like oh that was a whole publicity stunt because now people in the comments are saying kim was with sean i didn't even know that was her type now she's letting people know that her baby her now baby daddy was dating me or whatever but then she wants to say like oh that was a whole publicity stunt 
first of all girl is not that serious like we're not fucking famous i don't you guys think you guys are tiktok famous i don't know what you think this is but that's not the right wording for whatever you're trying to say maybe you're trying to say like oh that they were trolling stop relax but if you're trying to say we're trolling or we were trolling no that wasn't it um so i don't know where you're getting your information from or i don't know if sean yeah. yeah maybe sean is giving you the wrong information lying to you i don't know why how what when for what i don't know why he's doing that maybe trying to make you feel better maybe he's not trying to stress you out um because it seems like you already looked through my tiktoks you know a lot about me um maybe like i said you're hot and bothered over there um that's not good for you or the baby so it's not that serious but um yeah that's definitely wrong information um we were definitely dating um i'm not sure how do you know how long we were dating i don't know um maybe it was not a long time but it was definitely more than a month maybe two months maybe three months i don't know honestly he's a handsome man but just not for me. Um, and he you're did the one who ended things. Right. Like he did a lot of things that turned me off. Um, it's just like, like I said, he's older. We were not on the same page a lot of times. And like when I wanted to go out to do something, like I remember one night we went to the, not scavenger hunt, but what is it called? Escape room. Escape room. And he was trying to see me that night. So I'm like, oh, like I'm actually going with the girls because at the time, uh, Nina was still dating her ex so I'm like oh I'm actually going with the girls to an escape room um, if you want to join and he's like yeah he was just trying to see me so he's like yeah yeah let's go mm -hmm. and this was like at 11 30 or midnight I don't know and he was Definitely. just so tired like he I think he has a bedtime like he goes to bed at a certain hour so I'm like I just felt bad because like you could tell he was so tired but he was just trying to spend time with me but he was just trying so hard to interact with us like I don't know just little things guys like I get turned off very easily and I'm very picky nowadays so I don't know it was just a few things here and there and i would tell nina like i don't know if you remember but i'd be like uh like i'm not really oh, feeling yeah. him Me anymore too. like but don't get me wrong he's very sweet he's super nice he's a whole man like you know like he would pay for everything like, as a group like with the girls we hung out a few times like um dave and busters yeah we went to dave and busters one night i have the videos i don't even know if i should like put them in here mm -hmm. but um i just like to come with receipts so Yeah, so we were actually dating. It was not a publicity stunt. We were not trolling the internet. Um, I wasn't trying to get nobody jealous. Like we were literally like, you know, we had a we had a thing for each other. Oh yeah, one time we we went over to his place and we pranked him. Like it was so funny. Um, yeah. Like we had a lot of fun with him. Um, like I said, solo. I went over there solo a few times, maybe twice or three times. I can't remember did the deed happen and it definitely did if you guys are curious and want to know yes that did happen um and why do you think he just became so obsessed like he was chasing like i need to i need to show you guys the thread a little bit of the thread
she says her, that was a publicity stunt like her she came over here to sean's house with her manager like blah 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 girl no she's manager not talking yes talking about you not only is she yes she's my manager but she's my friend first so yeah she was over there because we were all hanging out we were low-key double dating so when we go everywhere together so like it's like we weren't what? working we were chilling hanging out and right. you know like so that's what i'm saying like get your facts together like don't speak on something you know nothing about she knows what's on my tiktok she's over here talking about she has two videos of you know her and sean and to this song and i'm like girl like stop like there's no need for that <laughs> like stop stressing like it's giving fan energy like, right please. obviously if i want him i still till this day i could have him like don't think that it's because you're young i understand you're young and you're naive in a lot of ways and like you're i don't know what is going through your little head and you're thinking like oh we're good over here i live with him and i'm having his baby like girl that's not it's not gonna stop him He's a man and he wanted us to be a thing. He wanted to be together. Eventually, Trey, months later, came back in the picture. So I cut him off completely. And then I started like, I don't think I blocked him, but I was just not answering him. I was ignoring him and he just would not stop. And like, still, I'm sure he knew because I was at this point posting again with Trey, especially on TikTok. He knew that Trey was back in the picture. He still kept texting me and you know okay. trying to get me to come see him at his place and blah 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 so that's that guys Wait, didn't, um, he, didn't he text you recently too um <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, <laughs> let me get to this part so after i get this screen recording sent to me um the girl was like um she's still talking on life if you want to join i'm like oh why not i get on tiktok and i join this girl's live and she's literally sitting there talking about me still and i'm like i'm flattered that you know of me and i'm like laughing on the other end of the phone because i'm like this girl is literally stressing right now like i didn't think about it but i wish i would have recorded when i joined her live so that i had you know proof to show you guys of what was said but i didn't even think about doing that and i don't know if anyone out there screen recorded but um i joined her live because i wanted to press asap and i kept like commenting like back to back to back talking to asap so this fucking this little girl thought again that i don't know she thought i was talking to her she kept like reading the comments and she wasn't putting two and two together so i know in one of the comments i said at asa oh now you're quiet all of a sudden now you have nothing to say like i said i'm commenting back to back to back and asa is not saying a word and even other girls in the comments were like oh she's talking to asa blah 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 so then this girl she thinks i'm talking to her so she wants to like talk back to me and be like no one's worried about you blah 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 and i'm like girl no one's worried about you i'm not on here to i'm not i don't care about you i'm talking to asa i'm not talking to you mm -hmm. but she wasn't putting two, two and two together so i'm like oh my god i'm i'm ignoring her for a fat minute like fuck asa she's quiet over there so now i'm addressing this fucking girl this girl is not sean's type and i feel like every time i come across like sean's like page or his live i'm like i watch sometimes and i'm like he looks like so miserable he looks sad sometimes he looks like he's not happy yeah i feel like he thinks he's stuck now because he got this girl knocked up and yeah. he's like fuck like he probably regrets it but now what is he gonna do like right. you know so i feel like he's stuck like guys when i used to talk to him like he literally told me like oh i was never in love with my baby mama which is the mother to his three daughters and i used to sit there and be like i never believed that because i'm like how are you gonna sit there and say that you guys have three kids together like of course something a guy would say right yeah. but i'm like so if you were never in love with her and she's really pretty how how do you feel about this one like what are you gonna say about this one this girl is definitely not his type like i don't know what the fuck happened there maybe he was desperate you know guys and their lonely nights like he would beg me 
to come over and see him, you know, at night and stuff. So, like, this girl is probably easy. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Like I said, I'm only speaking on them because this girl thinks she knows everything and has something to say. So, whatever. That's his life. Um, And, yeah. The whole reason why she thought it was a publicity stunt is because... She was like, oh, yeah, her manager recorded the TikToks. Like, and they were it, done professionally. professionally. Like, first of all, thank you for the compliment. I was just getting the right angles. Like, she all. knows how to take videos and she knows her angles. Like, something you should learn. That's literally it. I don't know what you're used to, but because you're in a home now and you're with a, a man who has a good job and now your baby daddy has money, like... I don't know. She thinks she got it made. Good for you. But like I said, you used to live in the IE area. Um, but now you're in Pedro. I'm in Pedro. Um, so if you think it's smart for you to um, want to talk shit about me and think we're never going to cross paths. Uh, Pedro girls do not fucking play. Like, don't start some shit with nobody out here and think that oh you're just gonna sit there and look pretty if you don't care about starting some shit with people while you're pregnant then you gotta suffer the consequences because like you gotta grow the fuck up like be smart and focus on you and your baby and stop trying to start shit with people just think like right now you being pregnant is not it's not the smartest time to start i'm a fucking petty bitch so mm -hmm. um yeah, we could be petty. She said, literally, just focus on your pregnancy and that's it. Keep everybody's name out your mouth and that's it. I remember on the live, I said something about, I think I told her something like, oh, he's still texting me or something like that. I said, somebody else in the comments said, oh, girl, you better check his messages. And then this girl said, oh, I check his social media. Girl, it's not, you think I'm going to message him on social media? Like, it's more personal. Like, do you not know or think I have his number? Why would I DM him when I can text him? Like, why would I do that? I'm too excited yeah, and happy right now talking about all this cheese man. What else? Um. Oh, but aside from that, we celebrated my birthday yesterday. It's yeah. like literally two weeks past. Like, it, it was two weeks ago. But last night we celebrated. Um, can we tell them about your um, crazy dating story? <laughs> Nina's been busy dating because you know she's newly single and she's been dating um for a few months now <clears throat> she's gonna tell you guys about her what do you want to call it your crazy, crazy dating horror store okay. experience so this is Go like ahead. this is the first time i've ever been catfished like i was only talking to the girl for maybe a few days like a few days yeah and then uh, she's like oh i want to see you and i was just like okay for sure like i mean i'm down i don't really care but it also started because she texted me and then she was just like do you have a femme best friend and i was like yeah i do actually and then right away so she was like, i'm sorry to cut you off but that alone to me is crazy because i don't know if that's like a normal thing to ask in the gay world right like oh do you have a femme best friend like is that normal you know what i yeah i've been asked that a few times already oh okay so and I've, i'll say yeah i don't care like right away she's like nope Never mind. I'm I can't do this, like blah blah blah. And I was like, Okay, bye. A few hours later she's like, Wait, I thought about it and I I'm gonna give you a chance because what if I messed up something that would have been good? See that's what I'm saying. That that part right there, I would have been like, Girl, you got me messed up, like bye. Like first of all, who are you? She literally comes back a few hours later with, Oh, never mind, I thought about it, like and we what? started thinking we're like why that's a huge red flag like not even why at this point i don't care why you changed your mind like who mm -hmm. are you to come back to me and be like oh never mind i thought about it it's okay we let's continue to talk like no bitch bye like yes. next mm -hmm. but then like but me I, she's too nice so she's like okay well honestly i just didn't care like i was just like i mean shit if it's just a quickie then <laughs> who cares I was just you like uh-uh so me, I just didn't care, but but she doesn't drive, so I was like, okay. And then I was like, let me be nice. I'll Uber you halfway, and then I'll go pick you up halfway. So then she gets out the Uber right away. I was like, oh, my Lord, like, 
I just got catfished. I was automatically, I was like, anyway, so she gets in my car and I go mute. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I was just You're like, just like all the way turned off at this point. Right. And I'm trying to process what's happening. Like, so I go to a view because I'm not about to spend any money on this girl. Oh, she's super touchy. Like uh -huh. she put her hand like around my head and was trying to like massage it. And I was just like, can you not do that? Uh, like... like she like, moves fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She oh, wastes no. no time. So, Nina's just ignoring all the little red flags Pretty at this much. point. I was just, like, uncomfortable. I was trying to process what was going on. I was like, okay, hey, what do I do? How do I get rid of mm -hmm. her? Kim wanted to meet her because, well, she's Salvadorian. And plus the whole best Wait, friend comment. Right, so let's pause so before this whole date thing right the only reason i feel that date even happened like the whole meet in person happened was because of me because after yeah. this girl texted nina saying like oh i'm not okay with the whole fan best friend thing mm -hmm. so when nina told me that i was like now i want to meet her because yeah. i don't who does this girl think she is like i want to meet her and then nina had told me like oh she's salvadorian i was like oh yeah for sure i want to meet her i know salvadorians i am one so i'm like yeah let me just meet this girl let me humble this girl a little bit no for real. so then um so we came up with this plan so i told nina i was like why don't you hit her up just go along with it and be like hey let's hang out tonight blah 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 so that's exactly why it led to this date so the korean bell is this spot in pedro guys like it's like a park with like it's like it has a really nice view so mm -hmm. i guess they were there and i was with my cousin at some other spot in pedro yeah so when we were at the <coughs> view she was so touchy and she was just like grabbing my arm and mind you i'm already turned off all the way as soon as i brought up that we're gonna meet up with my friend she literally was just like oh okay and then still kind of cool. She was cool in the whole car ride there. But once we got there, the second she saw the Kim. switch up was real. Oh my gosh. She got so insecure and was just like I rude yeah, as hell. Her like, face, like I did notice like. Because I like went out of my way and like when they pulled up, I'm like, hi, nice to meet you, Kimberly, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, the way she was looking at me, I was like, okay. And she said hi. And then we were there max 30 minutes. Like, it was low-key uncomfortable because they were, they looked a little awkward sitting over there. And I'm yeah. like, and the whole time, she's not trying to interact with us. She's not talking she to us. She gave us her back. Yeah, like, she's she literally like, sitting there quiet, like, super quiet. And I'm like, okay, so at this point, I'm not going out of my way to talk to you. Like, you right. should be talking to us. Okay, so she got up to go to the bathroom. And then right when she left, I was like, guys, like, oh, my God. Yeah, she was me. telling me and my get cousin, like, her. save me. Like, yeah. I'm trying to get rid of this girl. So I'm like, yeah, take then, her ass home. And then Kim, send her home. Kim was like, I wasn't sure if you were feeling her or not. I was like, I'm like, okay, cool. So I was telling my cousin, let's just get up and go. Like, you know, like, like let's make it seem like we're leaving. So then, like, we started heading towards the car, like, the parking lot. And um, on the way to my car, she get, it was so weird. She got right behind me, like really super close, like shoulder to shoulder. And I remember her saying like, I really like your back tattoo or I like your Buddha tattoo, something like that about my tattoo. And I didn't even look at her. I just, I just remember saying thank you because I'm not a rude bitch. As soon as she gets to Nina's car, she literally walked right in the car, like got mm -hmm. in the car, mm -hmm. didn't hug by, didn't say by, didn't look our way, my way, nothing. She just was so rude time. and just walked straight to the car, got in. And when the minute Nina got in the car and she's like taking off, like to leave, she went off she oh my god she popped off on me she was just like who the f does she think she is like and i was i looked at her i was like who the f are you talking about like i know you ain't talking about my friend and she was just like yeah she was so rude she didn't even talk to me she was just like that i was like i cut her off I was like you were so rude mm -hmm. you weren't even talking to her she was trying to talk to you and she shouldn't even be the one trying to talk to you like what the hell and then but she guys, was, like, she, this girl's not right in the head. Like, you could tell, like, everything that she was telling me, I was like, no way. She was really in a position where she could hit me, like, and she had her hand like this when she was yelling. So I was just that like, is so oh, I'm ready. weird like, that girls I'm get ready. like that on the first date. Like, first, no wonder you're single. Time. You're going to stay single. What yes. are you thinking? Mind you, we only were talking for a few days before the meeting. Yeah, but then she then, did say, because, like, she would, like, switch constantly in the car, like, she would be like yelling. so 
irate and like mad and yelling to like i'm so sorry, I'm sorry nina. nina like blah 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 and then she Girl. started crying yeah and like back to being mad yelling. and then it turns out that she's bipolar right and she said that she was just like i'm so sorry i'm bipolar like That's- i Crazy. I take these medications, and then she was just like, um, "You're I more than bipolar have, at this point. Know, like, something's like, wrong uh, with you." Personality disorder. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I had an episode right now. Like, I just want to fix things. And I was like, "Nah, you should have thought of that before you started coming at me." Like, and then mind you, I'm still like, "And you should have thought of that before catfishing me." Like, <laughs> Um, I'm trying to get her out of my car. The so, girl's not from here. Right. And she's way over here in Pedro. So Nina did ask her a few times, like, do you, do you need, need me? Ride? Yeah, do you need a ride? Do you need an Uber? And, like, she was ignoring. Like, she was just trying to talk to Nina so bad. And she got and, touchy. Right. Me and she was, so at this oh point, you're God. like, get it, get the fuck out of my car. Right. And then she didn't want to get out. So at this point, I'm trying to say anything to get her out. And I was just like, if you don't get out, I'm calling Kim. And then, oh, the switch up. <laughs> She went from, I'm sorry, Nina, to what the F is that supposed to mean, blah, blah, blah. Like, she started really talking mad crap. Like, she you know? did not she like, like me. No, not Poor at girl. all. And then um, she's like, what's that supposed to mean? And I was just like, that means she's going to come over here. I'm going to beat you up, and she's going to record for me. That's what that's She supposed probably to mean. thought you were trying to say, like, I'm going to call her over here to beat your ass. Yeah, probably. But yeah, That's what like, I think she thought. How like, annoying. Dude, See, like, you're too car. nice. I would have been like, get the fuck. I would have dragged her out the fucking car. The way dude, I'm going to drag Asa, out. I would have like, dragged this bitch out the car. No, for real, for real. And then finally, finally, she got out the car, and I locked my door. And then she comes over to the driver's side, and my window's already cracked a little bit. And so I go on my phone to put directions to my place. And then she comes over, and she's like, oh, you don't have to wait for me. And I completely ignore her, because I'm like, nobody's waiting for you, but okay. <laughs> and then she walks behind my car, and I put her on drive, and I'm slowly getting out the parking space, and I'm about to leave. She runs to my car and just socks my car. And I was like... <sighs> girl and i pressed on the brake i put her in park she came over to the passenger side and then i cracked open the window and i was just like did you just hit my car and then she was just yanking on the door handle i thought she was gonna break the door handle like she was yanking on it pretty Mm -hmm. hard i would have ran her over at this point i almost did (laughs) i was like girl and she was just like let me in please take me home this this and that and i was like nah like leave and then she was just like, can you check to see if I missed something in there? He took <laughs> off, huh? You're like, nope, bye. Yeah, so I was just like, if you don't step away from my car, I am going to run over your feet, and I don't care. And then no, still, nothing, yanking on my car. So now I'm getting even more pissed. So I put the car on drive, and I step on the gas, not even caring. And then I, I'm like, crap, it's a dead end. So then I had to turn around and then drive right past her. And I just left her there. I don't even know how she got home. Girl, like, girl, why did you call me? Like, I would have pulled up and been like, girl in a very calm manner like um get out her car she would have got out probably like, like <laughs> literally you just would have even if she just saw your car she would be like okay i'm getting out like, <laughs> but like, girl, i cannot believe you went through that like i was just like dang these girls be crazy and then I, right away i called her and i was just she was like what happened like i'm like up. come over yeah Tell me in person. Like, just come over but you know what it is guys um I think it's always going to be a problem, like, with your new person that you, like, right now in your dating era. Like, I guess it's a thing, it's a serious thing for you girls to, like, have a girly and best friend. And that's the thing, like, I, to my next person, like, just straight up, if you're not okay with our friendship, leave. Because I'm not right. getting anybody off for Kim. Like, I think it's a problem because, like I was telling Nina, when she tells these girls, um, yeah, I have a femme best friend, and, you so know, she's, she's 35, 35 she has six kids. kids, like, I think they, they picture, old, like, uh, I don't know what they imagine, like, they have this picture in their head, and they're like, oh, okay, she's, you know, older, she has six kids, like, I feel like they think, like, I look like a fucking torta or something, mm-hmm. like, i don't know it's so funny no, to me because like they really if, think like if someone told, tells me that i'm gonna think that <laughs> i guess but and then they see her and they're like oh, oh. it's because yeah. they they think in their head that we got something on the low and i'm like dude you guys are just, oh my god and, but like i'm like strictly dickly like no ma'am like yeah. <laughs> what the fuck like no and, if i want to revisit that side i'm like into the femmes the girly girls and yeah, me like, when i do it is is strictly for fun like 
nothing she's more. She's not nothing. gonna have something serious. Yeah, with a girl. Like, I'm like we up. are friends, and exactly. it's literally strictly friends. Like nothing more, nothing less. It's friends. I don't blame people, strangers especially, for thinking that way. You know, right? It's like okay, I get it, but at the same time, take first of all, take the time to see how we are as friends, and then judge based off of that. Don't right. just judge based off of oh, she's a family, Looks. she's a stud, exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, I would never do anything to mess up our friendship. Yeah, like, to jeopardize what we have. Exactly. Like, yeah. what we have is something I've never had before. So it's like, I've and I told someone this the other day. I've always been the one there for someone. Always. And when they're going through their lowest, but I never had that back to me. Right. And she's the first person to ever really have my back. Like, if I don't answer during a, like, okay, I will normally wake up before noon. I didn't answer until 2 p.m. And she was like, girl, I pulled up at your house. I'm I was freaking worried. out. Like, like, this is not normal. What are you doing? Like, Where are you at? Like, do you need me? Do you need help? Like, right. I'm and pulling she was up. so worried. And I I'm just up. that like, friend, you know? Exactly. And um, we have something so good that we have that. I get that in return. You know, people get the, the wrong idea or people are jealous. Like, fuck and all of you. Exactly. Like, we so know we that. Like, literally anytime and i've been going through a lot of stuff lately that i'm not gonna talk about but i'll i called her at, late at night and i was just like kim i need you she's like All right, she I'm on called me at one in the morning i'm like knocked out all she had to say is one word and i'm like a okay word, i'm yeah. there and i sped to her location and we took care of things yeah, so and that was that like, oh my gosh so it's just like whatever but to the next anyways show, i'm not gonna cut kim off for you so just if you don't like it then Two bye, bye. <laughs> Literally. But, but yes guys yeah, so true. a lot has been going on like i said we're doing a lot of things we're just trying to make ourselves better and trying to grow and we're working we're focusing on money family house Everything. hunting we're just gonna leave it at that um my ass is literally hurting right now from sitting on this fucking chair same. so we gotta go yeah, i got things to do i'm getting homesick i need to go see my baby yeah. so uh it was nice talking to you guys again after fucking two months um but we had to come to you guys with this lovely cheese man mm -hmm. um and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching um stay tuned for the next episode hopefully and we stay consistent but like i said right now we cannot promise you guys that because we are super busy, busy. and we do have a lot on our plates yeah. but um yeah we'll be back soon thank you for watching guys thank you bye so much.